Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. A young bull. Artist, King wow. Saladin. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> sir. Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing, man? Welcome to the show. You from Philly? From West I'm, Philadelphia. West Philadelphia, born and raised. I'm, I'm old school, I'm so I expect oh, sorry. everybody from Philly to have a beard. I, I got a little joint. A little joint, yeah. Little yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, you're an artist, you're a painter. Now, tell people how yeah. you got into art, because a lot of people love your art. It's um, I see it on everybody's walls. I've seen something that you just did in the Philadelphia airport. Okay, yeah. Our, our good friend Elvis has a lot of your art in his home. Yeah, Elvis Durant? That's my yeah, guy. Elvis right there. Tell Elvis, come here. Elvis! Elvis. Come that's here, one of, that's one of my big, here to see you. Elvis is one of my biggest collectors, man. Mm -hmm. So I, I love that guy. He man. never comes over here. Elvis, great timing. Envy Elvis. just said your name. What's up? What's up? Yeah. That's why Elvis is here. That's, that's why Elvis is here. It's not great timing. Up, he knew. Man. I thought you were better than radio. I want a hug. With, with an artist that does visual art. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a fucking hug, man. Come here. Aw. Aw. Where's my envy? Yeah, I'm over here. I'm over here. You guys. Envy just said your name. <laughs> this guy's the best. So you have a bunch of his art, Elvis? I do. I do. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Well, tell us tell us about him a little bit for, for yeah, people. On, How'd you get turned on to him? Serious. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Look, I, I grew up in a house where the, the the most art we had on the walls was like, you know, Elvis Presley uh, playing poker with dogs and, and gotcha. velvet, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? Yeah. Didn't know what it was. But every once in a while when you're growing up, you see a piece of art that m it makes you stir. It kind of gets your heart to beat. You're like, okay. I don't know what it is about this color or what... It, what he's saying, but there's something that grabs me. And King Saladin's art wow. did that to me. Really? Wow. What piece was it? Do you remember? God, it, well, it was it was uh, Money the Bear. The first one was the eight foot piece. Yeah, I have an eight so foot so tall show. King Saladin in my house. Really? Wow. In Manhattan, so you know he got a big house. Yeah, yeah, no, he, actually, it's an, another house. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes we have houses. <laughs> Wow. Don't, don't even start envy. <laughs> wow. But no, I have this piece hanging up in my house, and everyone who walks in is just like, whoa, what the F is that? Wow. Like, That's King Saladin. But as you hear his, his story, this, just like when you have an artist who's a singer in here, you hear their mm -hmm. story, and it makes their music sound different. Yeah. Right. When you hear King Saladin's story, it makes his art look different. It's wow. great. This is unreal, man. Right here. <laughs> I can't this wait is to hear crazy. It. He's great. No, Thank really, you, he's bro. all yours. I, I Thank you so much. I got a bag, got a bag well, out there for well, you. Well, tell us the story. He now. got a bag out here for you too, Elvis. Okay, I got to run. I want tell him the story. All right. And just everyone, like, make sure you put his stuff online so people can see it so they yeah. know what you're talking about. That's is there it. any crack involved in this story? Yeah, there's crack. Oh, this is great. No, I ain't no crack. <laughs> no. <laughs> so even no. cracking him on a Do you want crack. there to be crack in the story? <laughs> <laughs> crack. All right. Have fun with King. He's the Thank best. You God, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. All right, back to the interview. Thank you so much. All right, Thank you, so much, all right. Yeah. Thank you man. So you just gave him two hugs to make me jealous. By the way, I have how many pieces of yours? I have like eight pieces of yours. Wow! Right he said you're his biggest collector. He's blessed. He's blessed I'm gonna me. Add today. Seriously, I'm gonna add more today. Do you oh, charge wow. him? At, do you charge Elvis at this point? Huh? Do you charge him? Of course. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and I, I mean, think, but you know, now it's like on a family rate. Yeah. Gotcha. And okay, I would think Elvis would want to support an artist because yeah, he's, he's got amazing. It. He's amazing. So man. tell us the story now. All right. So where do I start? That was kind of crazy. That messed me up. Um, <laughs> I've always been in the art, you know what I mean? But um, I play basketball. I grew up playing basketball. got a scholarship for basketball. Mm -hmm. What school? Um, well, it, I messed up on my grades a little bit, so I went to a junior college in Kansas. Um, it was Johnson County, Johnson County, Kansas. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you could hoop hoop then? Yeah, I can hoop hoop. I had 1,000 right. points in my lead, my uh, in my, my day and everything. So, wow. Um, but I always did art, and I'm sure y'all familiar with Muskeen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Muskeen Original. So yeah, when Muskeen I was a young original. boy, I did my own T-shirts in Philly. It was inspired by Muskeen. Started working with Muskeen in probably early 2000s, and I seen where they took it. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't want to take it on a, on a clothing because it was kind of like when you start with clothing, you don't get um, the proper representation as an artist after the clothing kind of fizzles out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I said what I was going to do is um I was going to really just find my space, just being a straight artist. You know what I mean? Leave the clothing alone for a while until people started respecting me as an artist. Mm -hmm. So um. I don't know, man. It's just it's a long story, man. So you but, started off doing graffiti or something, or you nah, just started drawing. Nah, like, I never, what was I never did graffiti. I just always loved graffiti though, because that was the only art that I could see. <coughs> I remember, yeah. I remember like hooking in school and like going to the other side of Philly where more the Spanish people live. That was the best graffiti. You know what I'm saying? Don't well, fuck up so, their neighborhoods. No, I didn't. I was never. <laughs> no, I was never a vandal. I was never a vandal. Yeah. I just appreciated it. Like, damn, it's like art. these dudes really took this mm -hmm. much time mm -hmm. and like got this much skill. But I'm thinking, like, damn, I know they ain't get paid because this mm -hmm. joint is on top of a roof. It's like I know they ain't get paid for this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that was my mental. Like, I wonder if I could ever, like, find my gift and actually be able to, uh, you know, not about money. 
but just like find my way, be able to do better for my family. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? When I have kids, they can like have a legacy. It won't just be like I'm the talented boy that work at a job. You know what I'm saying? So but did you, you start also could have been playing basketball. Yeah, I started drawing in my crib. Okay. Um, I actually um used to get beatings all the time, bro. For like writing on my walls. Mm. So my mom used to paint over it, you know what I'm saying? And then it would become like me hiding it, putting sneaker boxes, you know what I'm saying, in front of stuff that I did just to hide it. She clean up, fine and stuff. And Why would you that, vandalize your mom's house when you got all those perfectly good abandoned buildings in Philadelphia? <laughs> He's not looking goodness. at it like vandalizing yeah, his art. It was like I was in my own world mm-hmm. in my house. Mm-hmm. Outside, outside my house, it was kind of like nobody was really in the art. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We was in property. We was living in a, in a, in a low income property mm-hmm. properties that um pretty much you had like a mirror, maybe a poster mm-hmm. and a TV. It was no yeah. like interior mm-hmm. decorating setups. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I didn't even know nothing about it really like that. You know what I mean? But um. Shout out to Mesquite again. Um, they had one of their biggest fashion shows in New York, maybe my second year working with them, and they they got artists to do like canvases, and I was just like, damn, I really I, I feel better on this canvas than like working on shirts for some reason. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then from time and time on, it's just like you know, shout out to my my best friend that passed away from cancer. That's why we um created the toy. You know what I'm saying? See? JP the money bear. Yeah, the money bear I know is, is you do this a lot. Now what's the significance of the money bear? Um well it's you know it's our, it's my logo. So it's like my Nike sign, the mm-hmm. bear. Elvis has probably six of them, six, seven bears or whatever. Um so we went three day, you know what I mean? I seen Hebrew up here. You yeah, know, and yeah, I was, yeah. I, I was watching I was watching his um his interviews and I was like at that time I was like in in process of going over to China, back and forth to China to try to get this done. And um I was just like, damn, it'd be it'd be amazing if I could ever get up there and go in a breakfast club. And then um, Envy went on one of the rallies with PCNY, my management. Mm-hmm. And I seen I seen him there. Well, I didn't see him physically there, but I seen his car. I seen all the snaps and everything. I didn't go on the rally, but I met everybody in Miami. Mm-hmm. So um, I ain't get to meet him there. I just hit him up one day. Say, damn, I wish I had got to meet you. You know what I'm saying? He's like, bro, I need some stuff. I'm like, wow. You know, I followed you crazy. for a while. I actually seen a lot of the stuff that you did. And, you know, with artwork, it's, it's, it's so many different artists, but you, you buy what you like. And I'm not big into buying art. There's right. a lot of pieces that I do like that, you know, my wife invests more than I do. And I seen this and I was like, wow, this is amazing stuff. And then when I met you, when I seen all your stuff, I was like, we got to get them up here. There's not too many brothers that do art that get a chance to get their word out there, to get their pieces out there. Yeah, definitely. And so I was like, let's let's bring them up here. Now, what was your big your biggest buy? Like, what was the one that got you to where everybody was looking? Hmm. I think um, in 2015, I got an opportunity to do uh, a project with Jordan. Mm. Out of nowhere, like you know what I mean, like Michael Jordan, he, yeah, <clears throat> Jordan, okay. Jordan Brand. Um, back and forth up New York, I met Oren and Wayne, mm-hmm. his brother Oren. Uh, he bought a piece in like 2014, and me and my boy JP we used to always come up here and party. We used to go to Greenhouse, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Back he used when to Greenhouse always, is open, yep. Greenhouse is amazing too, mm-hmm. man. It's, it's, it's so <laughs> sad to see it not there, days. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so when he used to be up here, you know, he buying tables and everybody like, yo, what y'all do? And he like, oh, my man do art. You know what I mean? But at that time, I was doing art, but I wasn't, like, really selling pieces all like that. You know what I mean? So what was he doing? Really selling pieces? That's why y'all could buy Definitely a Definitely selling pieces. He was throwing it off on you. <laughs> I mean, I would never, never want to taint his, his spirit like yeah, that. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, he was an amazing dude, and he was doing, you know, pretty much whatever he had to do mm-hmm. to show his friends and show all of us the other side of life. You gotcha. know what I mean? So um, where was I at? Okay, so... The biggest thing was like he was like, "Hey, you gotta start hanging with artists because I'm from the hood and I, you know, I did it, but I'm not trying to hang out with artists." You know what I'm saying? Right. So he's like, "You gotta start hanging with artists. You gotta come to New York." I'm thinking LA is the spot. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's like, "No, I'm telling you, New York. You go walk past a billionaire. He have a sweatsuit on. You don't even know." And I'm thinking like at the time, like, "What are you talking about?" You know what I mean? So um, when I got the invite to come up and meet Orrin and Wayne, he's like, "Yo, do you want to just ship the painting or do you want to come up?" I'm like, I'm coming up. And this is after he passed away. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm coming up there. Because that was what we talked about. <clears throat> so I got a chance to um, come up here and meet him. I meet these dudes at a $30 million townhouse. And I'm just like, this is crazy. So they're like, yo, you want to just stay? Just chill. So I chill, stay. You know what I mean? I, I think I got pretty good personality. I'm not trying to do too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And um, it just worked out great, like on some genuine organic stuff. You know what I mean? So after that. They was doing a whole bunch of charity stuff, and I was just like, "Damn, I'm really, I really would love to do this if I ever be able was able to make some money. You know what I mean? Like be able to give back, show kids some dope stuff. You know what I mean? And um, they just put me on to it. And uh, the first show, art, first art show that they had going on, not art show, but it was like a charity slash art. It was with Retina. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So, you know, Retina is a very dope L.A. artist, you know what I'm saying? And um, at that time, I was just like, yo, this is crazy. So, like, every week they would call me, yo, come up for this, come up for this, come up for this. So it was like a prayer answer, like, damn, I can go to New York and do something. Right. Not just, like, go to Flight Club and then <laughs> go back, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Because right. when my friend died, it, was, it wasn't no more Greenhouse. I wasn't buying bottles, you right, know what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like, I'm just up here grinding, but I'm actually with some great guys that got a whole platform, a right. whole world that understand what I do. When I'm back in Philly, people like, yeah, that's hot, but like, where the chicks at? You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. damn, this is kind of crazy. So I just started coming up to New York and that's how I really just really popped off. New York's my second home. So you started drawing uh, at a relatively young age, right? Yeah, I, I can remember like five, four, five. Okay, so when did you really start taking it serious? Cause I don't, I don't, I don't remember hearing how you got your break with Muskeen. All right, so I really started taking it serious. Um, let me think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm hard on the dates or whatever, mm-hmm. but um, it was my first year of college. I came home, and 106 and Park was like really popping, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm sitting on a couch with free AJ era or Roxy Terrence J era. No, this is this is uh, AJ and free okay, AJ. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So. People was coming up with Muskeen shirts on. So I'm in Kansas playing ball with these boys. So we got like a big house, out, like four of us stay together. And um, they like, uh, so I'm telling them what's going on in Philly. So it came on TV. I'm like, yo, these are the t-shirts I'm telling you about that I was selling my own t-shirts. So they're like, oh, all right, cool, cool, cool. And what's, what's so crazy is I left school to really pursue mm-hmm. like selling t-shirts, but it wasn't really about selling t-shirts. It was just like, damn, I see somebody winning at like this idea that I got, you know what I mean? I, I gotta go back home. Cause it was like, for one, I was a D1, you know, recruit. So when my SAT scores came messed up, it was like that was a letdown for me to have to go junior college. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. like big high school almost. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, I don't even feel like it. Everybody's six two. Everybody can shoot. Everybody can dunk. I'm like, but everybody can't do what I be doing that nobody know about. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I just I went home like on college college break. I went home and just left. You know what I'm saying? You never thought you could do both, like play basketball and do art. I knew I couldn't. I knew I couldn't because. It's two different brains. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's no time. And plus, I'm in school. No no art supplies. It's it's just like a whole other world. So you had to just completely give up basketball. Me personally, I had to do. Some people probably could do it. I I couldn't. Because I was too far from home. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, it was either you're going 100. Me personally, I'm going 100 at whatever I'm doing. You know, I can't can't do like 60, 40. You know what I mean? So it's like, um, I left. First thing, everybody's saying, damn, what you getting transferred? Where you at? Because you walk to the Chinese store. Mm-hmm. Everybody like, damn, I thought you went to school, bro. It was just a crazy transition, man. But I remember, um, God rest my grandma's soul, too. Um, she was one of the first pe- per- person that I told this idea to. I'm like, yo, I think I can make money doing art. So she's like, just come home and do it. Because she ain't want me in Kansas anyway. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They, couldn't nobody really come out there to check on me. So she's like, yo, you might as well just come home and do it. I came home, and it didn't. It wasn't smooth like that. You know what I mean? But... Um, that was the transition. That was really the transition. Me and somebody starting. from Muskeen found you? Or what the- nah, um, I was doing my own t-shirt so heavy. And I tell you, like, I grew up around all hustlers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I knew the best hustler <clears throat> wasn't standing on the block all day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So when I did, when I had my shirts, when all me and my homies go to Miami, we, I'm going to Miami with two suitcases full of shirts. All right. Scooter. I got Jones on my book bag. And I'm riding up to people like, like you got to lay on right now. I'm like, no disrespect, player. That joint don't match them sneaks perfectly. I got mm-hmm. something in my bag. So at that time, people were like, let me see. I'm whipping out stuff. So the Muskeen truck rides past. They had like a rap Hummer at the time mm-hmm. or whatever. And um, I, I just remember a boy saying, uh, like, damn, where you from? You from Miami? I'm like, no, I'm from Philly. So we started conversating or whatever. He's like, yo, you got to come down to the, to the uh, studio. Da, 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 da. So that's how it really happened. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. it started from me doing my own thing and traveling and seeing these dudes outside of town. And then I'm inviting me back to the studio, and I, you know, got a job after that. What was the most expensive piece that you sold oh. so far, and what was it? I don't want to get into that. Man. You gotta say who bought it. <laughs> um, he ain't pay his taxes on the uh, 15th. No, I make, I, no, <laughs> listen, I make sure I pay my taxes. I don't want no problems with the IRS. Um, most expensive. Uh, it was probably one of my projects. It was one of my projects. Probably. Uh, I don't like to get in numbers, man. I get kind of goofy. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious because there's kids out there that want to do art. They're like, there's no money in art. And, and um, I just like to show kids that you know that you don't have to think of being a basketball player or right. being a rapper. You right. know, there's other things that if you really love. Well, I had to pay a lot to the IRS, though. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, don't try to bring up that you paid your taxes now. I did. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, let me think. Uh, 
I don't know, man. Like, honestly, I don't really like to get into the money mm-hmm. because the money kind of cloud people. You know what I mean? Like, gotcha. I never did this for money. I just knew that I had a talent, and I seen other people. After I got outside of Philadelphia, I kind of seen other people winning at it, and I'm gotcha. like, How do you know what to charge? Like, um, how do you know when your price goes question. up? How do yeah, you know? I don't be this understanding why them Banksies and all that be so expensive. They be looking um, regular as hell to me. Um, I mean, it's about your resume too. Mm-hmm. It's about your resume. See, like, um. I'm pretty much like I, I respect like the whole Rockefeller era, the whole like everybody independent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So like me, PCNY, my my team, CMI, Create, Motivate, Inspire, we own all our all our master. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Um, I'm not really dealing with galleries like that. If if it, if it's beneficial, I will. But like Hebrew said, fifty percent from the rip. You know right. what I mean? I've made tons of galleries, a lot of money with no promotion. I'm bringing Elvises and and all these people into the gallery to spend money. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's kind of like, it don't make sense for me Mm -hmm. to go under that radar. So, um... Unless you can't negotiate when you're in a good position, like, look, my my Maybe now, maybe now, but those, those institutions are so, like, like it's like the oil it's like getting into the oil business mm-hmm. or getting into something like that where you kind of don't have any say so other than trying to create your own path you know what I mean for real for real but um I don't know what was the question I'm sorry now I was saying no, now saying how he's much, trying how to get you, you to say how much you spent for a, a painting but you know what though man I, oh, oh how we how yeah. start how yeah. start um, and so how you know what to charge people. I used to I used to charge people two hundred dollars I used mm-hmm. to tell people yo get the canvas and I'll do it and give me a hundred dollars like I wonder how much that stuff is worth now. That you did for two hundred dollars back then. It's definitely worth a nice amount of money. <laughs> That's like, a good definitely, investment. Definitely, and I stay connected with everybody that uh-huh. I deal with. You know what I mean? I'm always in Philly. Uh, I'm in New York more now, or whatever. But um, yeah, my mom got most of my dopest pieces for real. For she take all my dope stuff. All the dope stuff. She's like, give me that. All my dope you, stuff. You know, it's interesting. Like, you know, you can still provide that inspiration without showing people how much money you got because people see what you're doing. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, they see yeah. you here on Breakfast Club, or they see you, or hear you on Elvis, or whatever. Like, they they see your work, so they That's know it's got to be doing. Doing you some have type work of in the airport? Yeah, we just did a 200-foot uh, installation mm-hmm. in the Philadelphia airport. So that was amazing. And um, Fox News was there. It was really dope. It was really really something dope and inspirational for the city, too. Because, um, you know what I mean? Philly is like, Philly is an amazing city, but it's just like, so, it's no opportunity. You know what I'm saying? And people get caught up in like no opportunity, and they, and they hating on anybody that's really doing something good. You know what I'm saying? So my whole vibe be different. I'll be just trying like, create, motivate, and inspire for real, for real. You know what I mean? Because I understand where it's like, we only fighting each other. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody worried about Elvis and ain't, you know, people at that level, level. Right. You know what I'm saying? They worry about, they hating on Envy, they hating on you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm-hmm. you need to just get with people, man, right. so you can try to make things happen, man. Do you build with other artists in Philly, like uh, like my man Justin Richburg? You know Justin? I never I never met him. Maybe by, by face, I'm bad yeah. with names, but um, you, yeah, I build you, you with everybody. You familiar with his art? Nah, not not a, you gotta put me on. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. He though, he from Philly. Okay. Yeah. Um, I I kinda connect with everybody, man, especially the young boys. Mm-hmm. Like, cause now it's kinda like it's a cool thing to be an artist mm-hmm. and be out doing your own thing and, and have art your Basel, own. Art Basel, people love going to Art Basel. <laughs> it's so crazy. I found out about Art Basel when I quit my job in 2011, and um my one of my cousins was like somebody doing good in my family. You know what I'm saying? So I hit him up. Yo, I'm like. Can I sleep on your couch? You know what I'm saying? I need to be down there for a couple months. Like, how much money do I get, gotta give you? He like, no, nah, just do me a painting. So I did him a big ass painting. You know what I'm saying? And um, hey, your shit that good? Uh, two months free rent for a painting? <laughs> that was God like six damn. months. I was down there for like two my years. G, I mean, some of the small stuff on this website got twenty five thousand dollars for painting on, on this. Uh, Envy, you drawing? I'm sorry, man. man. I'm sorry, but I'm just, <laughs> it, it, it's just stuff that good. That, that's, you know what I mean? He, he does amazing stuff. Yeah, but God is good, man. So I just was like, <laughs> did that I'm, ever confuse you growing up? Being in Philly, people are like, yo, you drawing? Like, yeah, I'm an artist. No, cause like only my close he friends, that. only my close friends knew that I really did it until mm-hmm. I really was like left school and took it like all the way. Cause when I left school, I was just like, yo, I gotta do everything I don't feel like doing. Gotcha. Cause I gotta come back home. I'm not trying to work at the corner store. I'm not trying to be, you know what I mean? And I'm not trying to really be risking my freedom like that either. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I had a lot of friends and a lot of close homies pass away early, early in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of knew where I wanted to go with mine. You know what I'm saying? And um. I just put all that energy into my art, for real, for real. Yeah, I want to see. I want. I'm gonna introduce you, introduce you to Justin too, man. Yeah, definitely. He did the that. he did the animation in the field like summer video for Don, for Childish Gambino. Is he an older guy? Nah, he's young. Yeah. Right, he got, he, oh wow. Young, young. <laughs> all right, I'm with it. Let me know. And what about so you do commission art too? Like mm-hmm. people can commission you to do stuff. Yeah, that's how like a lot of my business started early mm-hmm. in the day. Um, was commission because I could kind of like sit around a person, get their vibe. And kind of like create my own my own vision, but exactly kind of how you said it or you wanted it, 
not too crazy like yo i want to meet riding on a dragon or something crazy <laughs> i'm not doing all that you know what i'm saying but they would already know like my style and they would be like well i want this or could you put my son name in this or my daughter i just had a baby or mm-hmm. just all kinds of stuff so that's like easy for me and you do everything yourself i know sometimes artists will like be the main artist kind of like being a producer and then <coughs> they have people that work under them mm-hmm. that actually do some of the work like how does that work oh no i don't know he said, I don't I do my own stuff. I don't know. No I ain't to that. I'm not at that level yet. I think, um, because I was just literally talking to somebody about that too. Like I have a team, but everybody on my team, nobody does art. You okay. know what I mean? Like, um, Berto, I just flew him out from uh Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Dope photographer. Mm-hmm. Uh Big J. Big J does like all kinds of in house studio stuff, my uh like my day to day business. Um, thought he was or- a shooter. Or <laughs> Orin's my man <laughs> Orin and Wayne are my managers, you know what I'm saying? And they all they in their own world, their own space with the mm-hmm. cars and everything. My my brother uh Kev, mm-hmm. we we run Thought Kev uh, was a shooter too. <laughs> <laughs> we run Create, Motivate, Inspire together. So that's our foundation that we give back and you know, I learned from PCNY and a bunch of other people. Like we get back turkeys in the uh, in the hood. I didn't we didn't get book bags, uh, mm-hmm. basketball tournaments in my hood, mm-hmm. all kinds of like dope little stuff. When did you know this dope. was a career for you though? When were you like, okay, I'm good now? Like financially, I can do just this. Uh, it, I, I quit my job in 2011, so I quit my job with like $400 like to my name. So it was really like my best friend JP keep like he was telling me like, like bro, you gotta show people what you can do you can't how you gonna be at work all day and you got this gift how people gonna see it Mm -hmm. so that was the same boy that used to have me in greenhouse and we staying at the dream hotel but i i gotta go back to work though so he's killing me like yo fuck that job excuse me excuse me i can't all right right, so he's like yo that job is he used to call it the plantation so he's like damn you're going to back to the plantation and i'm just like damn but i you know i wasn't trying to be the boy like outside not you know had to go back to my mom's house. My mm-hmm. car note was due. And I'm not the dude that's like, yo, let me hold a stack. Let me hold 1500 I ain't That ain't me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, I just got to do what I got to do till my time is right. And um, I, le- I walked out my job 2011 and just, I ain't never looked back. So it is, making that, making that um, like walking on faith like that, mm-hmm. that opened up to me being able to be successfully financially successful with what I was doing. Because right. other than that... Some people are so concerned with security and stability, they won't pursue their passion because they just... I mean, it's real. Yeah. It's real, though. You know what I mean? Everybody got a phone bill to pay. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? You got it's a true. girlfriend. You want to go out to eat. So I understand whatever can keep you kind of, like, stable so you don't super fall off. Right. People going to do that. You know what I mean? But me, personally... You had to fly out. I'm, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never want to handle nine to five. I ain't like waking up at a certain time. I ain't like nobody telling me what to do or, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, you, you didn't do this good enough. I'm docking your pay. Well, I don't know how ever it go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just was, that it wasn't in my DNA. You know what I mean? But right. the only opportunity, if you're thinking like that in the hood is to pretty much start selling, you know what I mean? Doing all, you know, doing whatever you got to do to get your money. Right. But, you, um, you don't got no pieces on you? You ain't bring no art to show people? I bought y'all some, some toy. Oh, okay, I okay. bought y'all a toy. I bought y'all some merch. I can't bring in canvases. It's yeah. Crazy, yeah. You know what I mean? But is, your, is, your, is your art on the merch? Uh, well, we just did a collaboration with Champion last year. So oh, yeah, it. I saw that. that yeah, was it was like one of the biggest uh, collaborations that Champion ever did, too. Mm-hmm. So Let's see, man. That was super dope. Take advantage of these uh, YouTube these, numbers. These T-shirts are just like from the pop-up. Okay. Because everything else. Oh, sold thank out. You. Thank you. Everything else sold out. Like Whoa. The online stuff sold out in like 18 minutes. Oh, okay, okay. How much? <laughs> but uh, if you don't get your little bird, yeah, these just some, these some, t- these just some okay, t-shirts okay. that we had laying around. Okay, that I had to, uh, well, we, that I just wanted to give y'all. You know, what thank mean? y'all for joining us, man. These these pieces are, are pretty. I dope. look like Kanye like, Bear a little bit. Remember Kanye that Bear? Was, that was a part of the inspiration. Gotcha, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Eric and the uh, uh, college dropout. That was a part of the um, the motivation and everything too, uh, man. Where can what people find you? you online if they want to see your art and? Perhaps um, commission you or purchase something. Well, Instagram, you know, everybody got an Instagram right now. So uh King Saladin is K I N G. Let me see your S A L A D E E N. And uh the website's www.kingsaladinart.com. Give me the toy. It's <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. And I wanted to and I wanted to make my toy just to, while I'm on air. Um I grew up with a lot of, you know, I respect the causes and just everybody. So they was inspiring. But it was all like Mickey Mouse to the next level to me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I wanted my 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 toy to look. He got what you got on pretty much. Yeah, right yeah. Now. He you look like a nigga saying? from Philly. <laughs> <laughs> he do. He do. So I just wanted to you know bring uh mm-hmm. just speak to the times. You know what I'm saying? Because right. uh you know we don't we're not wearing big jeans right now. We're not wearing big sweatpants. Yeah. I wanted to put some joggers on him, some some comfortable sneaks, some boots. 
dope sweatshirt, you know what I'm saying? And uh, JP's on the back of it, and it's my grandma's birthday because they both passed away from cancer. Wow. So that's one of my biggest things that I, uh, my donations, everything I give back, everything got um, percentages going back to cancer, cancer research. research. Right. Um, not even cancer research. This summer, we're sending uh, a couple uh, kids that are like terminally ill to a camp. To like, it's a it's a very expensive camp for uh, kids with cancer. So the the kids that aren't able to pay for it, we are going to raise up the money for them. So your grandma' birthday is sa- Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. You do anything special? I don't know, man. I ain't, it's so crazy because I'm like I never went out to the grave after the um after the burial. She passed in seven uh, 2017. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go out there, put some flowers and. I just be repping her, you know what I'm saying? I just I put her name up on the wall in uh in the airport. Her, uh birthdays on the back of the toy. So I'm always like in everything I uh I create, I'm just inspiring putting her name. You should put a, to- a toy on the headstone. Somebody gonna take it, man. <laughs> you be have to be a grimy ass dude to do something. We from, like yeah, yeah, right, right, from Philly, man. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We from Philly. Well, King right. Saladin, we appreciate you for joining us. Thank you. And man. thank you for these gifts too, man. We definitely appreciate it. Definitely. Thank you all for having me. All right. Well, it's DJ MV, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy, we the Breakfast Club, King Saladin.